Hi everybody! This week we are learning about monuments and public art and I have a couple of great books to read. The first one that I'd like to read is Maya Lin, Artist, Architect of Light and Lines, Designer of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. And it's by Jean Walker Harvey and illustrated by Dao Pumiruk. Maya Lin is an incredible architect and artist, and I can't wait to read more about her life. In the woods by her childhood home, Maya Lin played with her brother and explored and climbed the many rolling hills, one she named the Lizard's Back. On long walks alone, she searched for birds in the forest. Maya sat still as a statue, hoping to tame rabbits, raccoons, chipmunks, and squirrels. In her house full of light and open spaces, Maya read books and played chess with her brother. And with paper and scraps, she built tiny towns. Her parents had fled China at a time when people were told what to be and how to think. Her parents never told Maya what to be or how to think. Maya grew up with art. Her father was an artist who made art with clay. Her mother was a poet who made art with words. She watched her father form a pot from a mound of clay without plans or drawings. Maya, too, thought with her hands as well as her mind. One day, when Maya looked at the patterns of light and lines on the ceiling of her college library, she imagined she would become an architect who created buildings with art, science, and math. While studying overseas, Maya wandered through countries and cities, gazing at buildings of all types, new and old, learning all she could. In her last year of college, Maya entered a contest to design a memorial to honor soldiers who died during the Vietnam War. The contest rules said the memorial must blend with a park setting and include the name of every soldier who died fighting or was missing almost 58,000 names. Those rules rang true to Maya. She knew the power of names. Maya believed that a name brings back all the memories of a person, more than a photo of a moment in time. In the glow of the autumn sun, Maya walked across a field dotted with trees, the site of the future memorial. Through her camera's eye, she imagined a knife slicing open the earth. In her mind, she saw the cut in the earth healing over time to a polished edge covered from top to bottom with names, an edge that reflected sky and grass and the people who visited the memorial. Back at school, Maya sculpted a model with mashed potatoes, then with clay. She sketched a soft space of greens and blues, and before mailing her entry, she put her thoughts into an essay. She wrote that her long, polished wall would be a quiet place to remember all those who died during the war, a place to be experienced by walking down, then up, past names that seemed to go on forever. The contest received so many entries, enough to fill an airplane hangar. Lots of famous architects and artists entered. The names of the contestants were hidden from view. Out of 1,421 entries, Maya's design was chosen. Simple yet strong, creative and new. But when they found out that Maya was the winner, the judges were shocked. She wasn't famous. She was a young woman still in school. Maya was as surprised as the judges. All was excitement at first, but then people objected. Some said her design looked like a bat, a boomerang, a black gash of shame. Their angry words stung Maya. For months, public hearings were held. Some people wanted to change the design. Maya was young, but she was brave. She didn't back down. Finally, her design was approved. Maya worked with a team of architects and engineers who devised plans to excavate the land and build the wall. 
The granite was cut, polished, and engraved with the soldiers' names. The earth was dug up. Maya watched the panels suspended in space, set in place. The first time Maya visited the finished wall, she searched for the name of the father of a friend. When she touched the name, she cried, just as she knew others would. Thousands came that Veterans Day to see and touch and remember. Salutes, hands on hearts, honoring. And every day since then, visitors have done the same. The Vietnam Veterans Memorial was the first of Maya's many works of art and architecture. Memorials, sculptures, structures, and spaces inside and out. Each piece is different, but all share Maya's vision. She wants people to be a part of her art. Look, touch, read, walk around, sit by, think about. And just like when she was a child who named a hill the lizard's back, Maya names her projects, often words from nature, names such as sounding stones, topo, the wave field, 10 degrees north, reading a garden. And after naming a piece, the final step in shaping her artwork, Maya Lin, the artist architect, is ready to dream, think again, and create something new. I fell in love with Maya Lin's story when I was in college too. As a college senior learning about Maya Lin's amazing memorial, it made me have faith that me as an artist and my friends could all make something that makes people feel the feelings they need to feel and remember the memories that they would like to keep. So I hope Maya Lin's story has inspired you to make something that can be public and shared with your community and perhaps help you remember or memorialize something that is important to you. Have fun creating.